Amy, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I know this day has been utterly devastating for you. I know how sad you are. I know how sad Pippa is. I know how sad your mates Beth and Kay are. <laughs> this was the last thing you ever wanted to see happen, wasn't it? I frankly wish they were my mates, because I think that'd be a fairly great dinner party, actually. The only thing that's a farce here... Well, they're good at those during lockdown, apparently. ..what has happened today, which is... It's been said that you can... So you don't accept the police ..legally decision. attend an illegal party. I think until the Met can clarify what that means, and if you can just explain that a little bit, then we might be a little bit more satisfied with what's been said today. The fact is, we've got a Prime Minister who broke the ministerial code, broke the law. It's now been proven he did stand up and lie in Parliament about this particular issue. And how can you be happy with this? I can't believe you're, it. The only you're, you're, farce you're, you're, that's you're going not, on... You're not I coping with this, with are you? You're not I coping with, with this. I sat with you the night that story came out. So you don't accept the police decision? I thought you loved the I... mayor. I thought you trusted their investigation <laughs> completely. I think that we're still waiting for this... the most long-winded Sue Gray report to come out. And oh, so now, OK, so you're pinning your hopes on that now. It's been to be concerning and surprising. What could be more surprising than what we heard that night with the wheelbarrow and the suitcase to co-op? What could possibly have happened? And I am waiting for that because I believe what has been said today is a farce, but it still remains that 126 PCNs have been handed out to one building, making Downing Street the most fined building during the lockdown. You've got no idea if that suitcase and fridge thing happened. You've got absolutely no idea. You just read whatever P Pippa puts in front of you and you assume it's true. But you're happy to criticise Keir Starmer for drinking a beer and having dinner. No, no, no. Uh, you're missing what I criticise Keir Starmer for. I criticise Keir Starmer for not living up to the lofty standards that he set for others because he did... Actually, he did worse than Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak, because he was downing booze too. They were in a room between downing meetings booze. where they were presented with a... Ca Have you not seen the video? Oh, we can't go down this road again, but you know, one beer at just... dinner. But anyway, that aside, if Keir Starmer is found to have breached any rule, he will resign, whereas Boris... We don't know that. Stay in We don't post. know that. This is just so boring. boring. It is boring. I agree. Boring. 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 I think that's so... one thing we can all agree on. Yeah.